Hey people, I'm going to talk a little bit about current events here and teach y'all some ancient language. And uh, I'm not going to talk about the coronavirus because the way I see it isn't anything near what mainstream sees it. And so they'll just take my movie down if I talk about it. But the, the, the current events I'm going to talk about is, is the end times. And, uh, and we are in the end times and I don't know exactly where it is in the Bible but I'm sure everybody's heard it before that in the end times all will be known and that's not quite right it's all will be known will cause the end times once we see all that's going on all their scam it's going to cause the end times they, they have to stop us because we're not going to put up with it any longer so I noticed I got a lot of new subscribers and so anybody that's watching me knows that uh, I'm going through a process of learning this just by reading it and not going on on what they say but investigating the words and so this is uh this is the main word I'm gonna get on to right now this is I've been saying it's to make fair w-i-q-r-a to make fair and uh, and they say it means called and uh, it first comes up here in five and several times it's beginning here and you'll see it beside this other word that I'm gonna get on right here this this con which is uh, actually knocking but this to make fares this actually pronounces the F here the Q is the PH the whiffer the whiffer and so this only means and called as if your wife was trying to get your attention by throwing a pot at you because it's it's a missile an arrow you see in the uh, in the seal of the United States there's there's a eagle holding 13 arrows those are 13 whiffers a missile anything flying by your head whiff whiffing by and uh, and that's old Norse old English whiffer like the rest of this book is all old it's Teutonic language T-E-W T-O-N-I-C Teutonic and that means to T-E-W means to form to shape you see it right here T-E-W it doesn't mean formless that means to form to and to the leather to to the wood is to shape it to form and tonic is tones to, to, to create to shape the tone and that's what this the the language the Teutonic language was the ancient English and it means they shape the meaning of the letters the uh, the the 22 letters all have a, a picture meaning and like this ion is the eyeball means to see and the L is the shepherd's staff or to direct or to bind and so they they sh they shape the the words in two tonics so so the, the the creation of the tone so you can hear it so now this is w-a-t and it means what and so it means to connect the knowledge of the mark and so what is it you know is you read it it's the shamim you know it's, it's so the, the tone you hear the tone in the writing and so this is actually Hebrew which means the brew and it means an alchemical style of Teutonic writing it's coded it was just for the brew but uh this um this whiffer comes up uh it comes up 201 times they say um probably more sometimes they'll give it a different meaning but you'll see it comes up many times in Genesis, in Exodus, 
in numbers in the other books but you'll see over here in uh, in Leviticus boom it's the first word Leviticus 1 the whiffer and it comes up again in 10.4 the, the whiffer and uh, and that's the whiffer from Sheila that's something Sheila threw at you but here in Leviticus 1 we see it's the first word comes up and uh, then this is uh, the K that I was pronouncing before the, the care to make fair but uh, that's the word for Leviticus is the whiffer means the projectile is what this book is actually about the first word is the whiffer the projectile you see here in uh, Exodus is the smut S-M-U-T and that's the word when it says and these are the names of the sons it's the smut this, the names what and uh, you see numbers here is in the mud bar in mud bar and the, all through numbers they'll say that means um, the, the forest they'll give it different meanings the forest, the swamp, wherever they're at and then you see Deuteronomy is the debris from here in this Leviticus it says the burnt offerings but it starts out here the whiffer the arrows the whiffer the projectile the whiffer L of and this tack means this is backwards and forwards L of the shamis S D E S H M S H E the shamis to hand yod id to yod bear the arrows of the shami's hand bear you and then it starts with a and it reads backwards will w-i-l will power from m from e-a-e-l m w-o-d will power from Elmwood Lamar command um, the AMRs are all the words uh, given AMR is given the meaning word but um, yammer to yammer is to talk to clamor is when a lot of people are talking and the lammer L the bind the command word so the whiff or the arrow of the shamis to the hand bear you in your hand you have the arrows will power from elmwood command so elmwood is uh is ancient uh ancient wood for for building bows and the boyers, the ancient bows used in keels of ships. It's it's a hard wood and it's got an entwined grain and it doesn't split. You don't want to try to split it for firewood. It's used for uh, the hubs of wheels. It's really hard. It makes a good hub to you know put all your wooden spokes in the wheel. It doesn't split. Good hard wood. And so this is uh, an, another word we're going to learn, the knocking, the knocking point. That's this, this, this point that you're going to set your arrow on, and your fist goes here. And so fist is the, the, the word they give the meaning of bow. But uh, we'll, we'll see why it means fist and not bow. But this is your knocking point. So they give this the meaning from the tabernacle of meeting. 
is the M is from the Elm Wood command. And we'll see it. This comes up again right here in three. And uh, it's a little different now. It doesn't have the M here, so this reads backwards. And so what it is here is it's of and then uh, the tack here. So this reads H T P T H. And uh, you'll see this often when it's talking about a whore. It read backwards and forwards. It's the hot path. You know, she's got a lot of business at the door. You can tell the way by the hot path to the door. But this is this is of H T or E T of it. Patel, the Patelium, P T H, and then starts with the A, so it's going to read backwards now. The Patel E A M, the Patelium wood. And so, uh, Patelium is this this species of uh, of beetles that eat wood, and that's what happened. That's what happened to all the elm trees, is that the beetles eat them, let the fungus in. And so there's not a lot of ancient elms, they're all new species now. So this word knocking, it comes up several times in Genesis 1 here, in the story of creation. And this story of creation is actually talking about how to rig up the, the astrology chart. But you see it always comes up after the wage, W-I-E-J, to make the work, is what we call wage. It comes after this hyphen, so it's N-K-N, knocking, the wage knocking, wage knocking, wage knocking, all through one. And it still comes up after tacking in later times and there's sometimes it comes up without it but when it comes up after the tag it's NKN knocking so what it means you know on the your knocking point this is where you insert the arrow there's a little mark and this is your knocking it means to insert here if you if you hook the arrow up here when you shoot it you know, when you pull the string back, you might not notice it when you shoot it. The arrow is going to be down, and it's going to hit target. You got to get it set on the knocking point. Usually, there's a bead on your string, or a knot, or something, or a mark, so you know to put it on the insert on the knocking point. And uh, it's also used in in genetics. It, um, a knocking when uh, when they're sequencing the genome and and they want to change something up they'll have a a certain spot that they want to put it the difference between knocking technology and traditional transgenic techniques is that the knocking involves a gene inserted into a specific locus and is thus a targeted insertion. It's targeted, and that's what it's talking about in uh, here in Genesis. You're setting up a an astrology chart, and you want to insert things where they belong in their space between the stars. The wage of knocking. And so, um, this word, uh, the yom, this is, this is, uh, this first day, this is where I learned how to use the, the punctuation in here, these tags, and the A's is a punctuation, and the mirrors, I think it's all here, in, uh, in the first day of creation, you use all the punctuation. And so I'm going to read this and, and show you um, down to uh, the yum, what this actually means. 
But um, it starts here. You know, this these words have different meanings. It means a lot of things. But on the top, you know, this is in receipt, and this is bear receipt, and it, it means the recipe. This is the word that was on my great grandma's cookbook, on her recipe book, in the recipe, in the receipt. This the receipts is is the writings that you know when you go. You fill these receipts and I can cook this up for you. These are things you need to go buy. So in receipt bear from a yell to the same form. And this happens, it, it means several things. Sometimes it means the shame from. Depends on where it's used. The sham. The sham form. And, uh, but it's, uh, it's to the same. E-S-M. The same from, you'll see the same, SM is given the meaning names often, but it actually means the same what of the connected writings, the two, the writing, the written knowledge. So the same as the written knowledge is the name, the same, or sometimes it's this, ES, this motion. In receipt bear from a yell, to this motion what hears to the same form what hears and then this where whereas where cross and sometimes it means uh, the, the wears with your clothes you're wearing and we'll see these two words in uh, in uh, Genesis 3 when they run out of the garden but whereas eight height or eight two to form, to be connected, to husk all in place, tomb to root. And so, um, the if you you read the books, uh, the sixth and seventh books of Moses, you you get better idea of of the angels and how they rotate through uh, the days and through the hours. And uh, and it's like. Um, you know, you you have a sun sign that sits. The sun sits there for a month, but the but the sun spins all around the earth in a in a day. You know, so the the watchers are always changing every couple of hours. You can get a better idea in, in the sixth and seventh books of Moses. But the eight two the eight form to be connected to husk all in place. It's, uh, it's got a tack, so this is in, I-N, ping. Ping is, is when you're on the boat, you shoot pings to figure out your place, figure out where you're at. All in place, the tomb, T-E-W-M, the tomb to root. The spirit's in the tomb, to root, to awaken. From a yell, to root, to root them up, to awaken from a yell, from rip pedal from her pedal they're hovering around from her pedal and place them form to from her pedal and place the mim the motion waters are motions and on this first day this is where I, I learned from or how to use all this punctuation but then it's to yammer to why to make word amr to, and this is the word of who's in charge. See, whoever gives the word, the go word, to make a power from to begin. A M R. Power from begin. To yammer from yell. Yee haw. Like you're hollering at your horse. Yee haw. Make the work. Make the work and start with the A. So it's R U A. The first connected knowledge is the row. The row. The wage. And then it has a tack, so it's the rower. The first connected knowledge, where, W-R. Connect first is where. And that's what we're going to learn is where is the first connected knowledge right here. Where from yell to... And then it has a tack, but it has an E in front of it. So it's the row 
the oar, R-U-A-E-A-U-R, row the oar, to keep, and then as a tack, to both, B-U-T-E-T, is T-H, both, hub, H-U-B, B-U-T-H-U-B, to key both hubs, it means straight ahead, to key both hubs, vibidal, vibidal is to picture in your mind, from a yell, bin, hour, and bin each sec, bin the hour and bin each sec. And then the whiffer, the arrow, the the projectile from Yale. And then it has the ball here, so it's read. I don't know if this is read twice or not, but I know it reads back this way. When it starts with an A, if it has a tack here, it reads both ways and then back this way again. But this is the, the projectile, the whiffer. The arrow from Yale, and then our few, the whiffer from Yale or few, and then it would read past the wall here of orum of of the of the orum. That's your Latin word for the gold, the whiffer from the yellow are few of aurum. That's the the aurus is is Latin is golden. The sun is the gold. The suffix I U M is what what uh, turns it into the metal, the the good oleum. Cadium is the metallic elements. But the orum is is a singular of orus. So or the or is what they were digging up. The gold, the aurum. The whiffer from Yella. Y E L A. From Yella. Our few. A R Q I W. Our few of aurum will husk fair lily. The wage. In first C, first in, B R O, in first C, first in, to bear the bearer in the wage in the R F, the roof in four, before B F R, in four, in, in front, before the the horse comes before the cart. That's why they say the bucker is the first son because it comes before in forum. The roof in forum, Dow. So Dow is uh, is the way. It's the uh, it's the uh, it's the old letter meaning the way, and also it's the letter of Jupiter. So to yammer from yell, yee make the work of the raffio, raffio, r, raffio is red, it, uh, it's a red pigment paint, but you see this is first to come after, r, q, q is the center to come after, the center of the wall, so the first come after makes c, means next, First to come after is the next work C is the roof 
to make C. The raffia, the red, in to give, B to K, in to give, and took the motion, wage from bottle to divide from B D I L, from bottle bin, from form of motion. Vios, V I O S, that's, that's Spanish, is Latin to see. Vios, to see, to make the eye consume. To see from yell to, and then it has the tack here. To see make four. The ochre, the yellow ochre, the red ochre, are pigments. O I Q R E ochre to see the center first to see come after the first is the second of the roof the raffio to see the ochre the raffio to make indel the vibital to make visualize between the motion rays from that of raffio and bend the motion raised from all of raffio wage nikon to wage nikon to insert in its special place to make the work of nikon knockin nkn to insert in its place it's got to be just so Whiffer the projectile from Yell of Raffio, the same form, SM, the name from, the same form, wage to bear, see first in, the, the, to bear the orb, the wage, the roof before, the roof in forum, sign. So it's getting late. I'm really tired. I want to hook y'all up with this book. It, Amanda hooked me up with this link. This The Chironomia. It's about the Chirology. And uh, it um I haven't read it all yet. Uh but it's a good one, and it uh, it talks about why your politicians, you know, why they're saying one thing with their mouth, they're giving hand signs that um, that nobody's seeing. If you've seen that last movie I did about uh, about the black eye, that's uh that's what it brought brought it up. That it uh, it was acknowledging that that sign was what I was told it meant. And here's a, a sign that everybody uses and, and really didn't know what it means, but this fascio, fascism, that's the fuck fascism is what it means. Um, this is a pretty old book and, and uh, your Google Translator won't even translate some of these words you'll have to play with it to figure it out but this this offense the offenicum the offeniculum resentio the the offense and that's what that meant that uh the old master arms is showing me you know only the ones with the black eye knew what it meant and it means, uh, means you back in the club. You done got your black eye and the resentio. You don't, you, you don't want to get the black eye. Don't mess up. The offense, offense in a knuckleum. N k u l a m. The knuckle from offense a knuckleum 
Resentio. You really don't want to take a, my knuckle. All right, I'm going to cut this off here. I'll leave this link to this book underneath here, this Chirology. All right, good day.